Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. Due to time constraints with the Thanksgiving holiday here in the U.S. and also because of the fact that I have weekly still to get out, I'm going to have to change the date frame on the ones that are, date time frame on the ones that are coming out tonight. I decided that since this is going to be for three days, I'm also going to use three oracle cards. So we're going to have the Romance Angels, Sacred Traveler, and Mystical Wisdom in each of the readings that are for the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Scorpio, it looks like this is your last one where you are going to be first in the rotation because the next ones will be Sagittarius, who is first during their season. So, um, everybody, let's go ahead and let's get started. Hello, my fellow fish. I hope you are doing amazing. You and Scorpio, as you know, get to deal with the shuffle. Some of you like the shuffle, but <laughs> I've already pre-shuffled all four decks, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we won't have to do much shuffling. I'd like to take a moment to welcome all my new and old subscribers. We've got potential. Think big for your future. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'd also like to thank those of you that have been ordering personal readings and donating to the channel. We are almost at 7,500 subscribers. I have a new deck for then. I absolutely love all of your comments. I appreciate your likes and your shares. Please continue to co comment. Positive comments only, please. Let's see, Pisces. We got two. Ascending the mountain, keep going forward, and fogged in. Go slow, take time. Really, I like the Viking boat on that. <laughs> Maybe it's the link to my heritage. I don't know. I really like it. <laughs> Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Beautiful. I hope you are all doing well. Those of you that are getting ready to celebrate Thanksgiving in the U.S., I hope you have a fabulous holiday. I don't do anything for Thanksgiving. <laughs> My son comes over. We like... I used to cook turkey. I used to cook turkey. I don't do it anymore. Um, I love to cook Thanksgiving meal. It's like my most favorite thing to do, but um, I haven't done one in a couple years, so I think my son and I are going to make pizza and play Xbox. <laughs> Boring, but it'll be great. So Maybe. Unless, unless he has dinner with his dad instead. We'll see. <laughs> Judgment. The Empress. Three more, please. Spirit for Pisces. King of Wands. Oh, and now all you dealing with Aries are like, yay, yay. King of Wands. Doesn't have to be an Aries. Could just be somebody who's got fire in their chart. The lovers. Beautiful. Alright, one more for Pisces, please, Spirit. Just one. Just one. Five of Pentacles. I want a clarifier for the Five of Pentacles, please. Oh my goodness. Your cards are going crazy. Clarifier for the Five of Pentacles, please. Okay. All right, Pisces. So, potential. Dream big for your future. 
Ascending the mountain, keep moving forward. Fogged in, go slow, take time. I feel like that's related to this lover's card. Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with one another or with each other. Judgment. The Empress. King of Wands. The Lovers. Five of Pentacles. Clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Pisces, I've got a couple different messages I'm feeling from this reading. Okay, let's see, where shall I start? Everybody wants to hear about love relationships. We're going to make that last, though. So I am seeing Pisces. Pisces, for you, I've been getting a combination of a couple messages here lately. I've been getting, you know, people who are trying to develop their career and develop some sort of financial stability in their life. And I'm also getting um, those that are look, looking for abundance in all areas of their life as well as well as those that are working on love relationships or struggling with some twin flame relationships. So I see here with potential, think big for your future. This could be, this could be related to your love life or it could be related to your career, it could be related to education, furthering your own self-growth, you know, like improving yourself in some way, shape, or form. And for some reason, every time I do a Pisces reading, the dog decides she wants to put her input in. What do you need, my dear? Okay. Um, so this could be furthering, furthering uh, any area of your life that is bringing something great into your world. I feel like you're moving along a path of achieving something and that you're at a point where you may be feeling as if the struggle is so real, you're just not sure if you wanna keep going. The struggle is, is a burden at times, and you may be feeling like, I feel as if um, a lot of Pisces are really kind of struggling to gain a financial ground in their life right now, and I feel like those of you that are pursuing something related to financial stability and having um, more stability in that area of your life, that you're feeling like you're constantly persevering and it's like, oh, am I ever going to get there? You feel like you're, you're climbing this mountain all the time. See, it's like one little hill, another little hill, and then a mountain. It's like it just doesn't ever stop, right? But you're being told to keep going, keep going. I also feel like your pathway is not fully illuminated to you and that's why we got fogged in. Go slow, take time. As you take each small little step on the journey towards this big new thing, um, it's going to be illuminated for you. The pathway is going to become clear. Yeah, but right now you can't see too far ahead so you just got to take baby steps. Baby steps. So. Regarding judgment here, I have a couple different messages with it. Judgment could be related to you reconnecting with somebody and there being a lot of forgiveness, either an apology coming to you or you apologizing to somebody else. Um, but it's, it's fixing something from the past, atoning for something, whether that's you or the other person, for some sort of past behavior, some, some sort of past event. There is tremendous freedom in forgiving yourself first and then also forgiving others. Sorry, my battery low just came up. It looks like you're going to be the last sign before I take a brief break. Um, so there is freedom in forgiving yourself and forgiving others. There's also a lot of personal growth through this as well. But judgment can also be related to karma. So if you've put a lot of good out in the world, it may be time for you to get good back. If you've been putting out a lot of yuckiness out in the world, and I'm not going to swear, but you know, a lot of yucky stuff out in the world, you're going to get a lot of that back. 
So keep that in mind. I'm not feeling a bad energy from this card. I'm feeling as if peace is being brought to, to some situation. And that there's going to be forward movement as a result of that peace. With the Empress, the Empress card here is about cycles, the cycles of life. She's about the, the cycles of nature, the cycles of life. She's also about having luck on your side and overflowing abundance, whether that's in wealth or in love or in some other area of your life. And I feel like she's in our reading to say, hey, Pisces, don't worry, don't fret, don't get gripped by fear and indecision. Let love lead your path. Show compassion to others. Don't take the things in your life for granted, Pisces. Understand that this forward movement, any difficulties you have experienced along this movement is all for your betterment. This is the mother figure of the universe. And I feel like it's providing you with a nurturing energy. It's providing you with, with unconditional love towards yourself and from others. And I feel like this abundance is telling you you're on your path to achieving that financial security. You're on your path to achieving that love in your life. You're on that path to bettering yourself in some area of your life as well. And then we have this King of Wands energy. The King of Wands is a born leader, a strong communicator. He unites people together through his, through his, you know, enchanting, enchanting personality, his extreme confidence, his strength. He's a little bit on the intense side. And I feel like for those of you, for those of you that are pursuing a dream, that the energy of the King of Wands is giving you that boldness, that fearlessness, that strength, that intensity, that drive to pursue, pursue whatever it is that, you, that you're trying to, to achieve in your life, to be ambitious. For those of you that this is related to a love situation, this may be a this person in your life may be embodying the traits of this King of Wands. It may be so enchanting, so magnetic, and, and there, there might be a great deal of passion and chemistry between the two of you. I feel like for those of you that this is not a love relationship, and I keep leaning back towards that, even though we have a love card here and whatnot, but um, I really feel a strong sense of movement from Pisces in their career. I'm really, I'm really feeling that. And, um, so for those of you that are, are moving towards something, it's something that you're very passionate about, something that brings you great fulfillment in your life. Now I do see here that the lover's card is in your reading. This is typically a very deep, passionate, rapid moving bond. It's somebody that you connect with on a very, very deep level. And um, this could be somebody that you're married to. It could be somebody that you're committed to. It could be somebody that you just recently met. You may be single and may have discovered a soulmate or a twin flame or something of that nature. And you feel a deep connection to them. Very, very deep. One that's emotionally fulfilling, spiritually fulfilling, and physically fulfilling as well. It's quite beautiful. But it also can be a relationship in which you focus so much on each other that everything else kind of falls by the wayside. And so I feel like Pisces, there's a warning in here not to get so wrapped up in your relationship that you forget this dream, this direction that you're moving in. That you need to have a balance between both your love life and your work life or your school life or whatever it is that you're pursuing. There needs to be a balance there. I do feel as if there is a need for communication in your relationship. We have a communication card here with the King of Wands because he's such a strong communicator. And we also have a deep bond here with the lovers. And so I feel like, I feel like you're needing to express how you feel to somebody. And I feel like somebody may be needing to express that to you as well. There may be a strong desire to do it. I feel like you're not communicating yet, but that there is that deep desire to connect or you may be hearing from this person 
this this week and you may be having a conversation about that I do see here with the five of pentacles that you are just feeling you're feeling defeated you're feeling really defeated perhaps on this journey on this pursuit of something that's so important to you you may be feeling like you're just giving up so much of your time so much of your energy that you just are kind of feeling like you're not getting anywhere um, you're you're sort of feeling as if you know there's no hope you may be feeling like there's no hope in this love relationship and then suddenly somebody reaches out and then you connect once again um, because this type of relationship can leave you really kind of emotionally emotionally depleted when there's distance so it could be related to that or it could be related to this constant perseverance that I feel like you've been going through a lot lately Pisces and since we have this ace of pentacles this is telling me that it could be this feeling of helplessness may be related to the fact that you are waiting for a new beginning you are waiting for this new opportunity to come into your life it may be that you're waiting for a new opportunity with this love love relationship it may be that you're waiting for a new opportunity in the development of this dream this pursuit and so I feel like I feel like you're really struggling there to be patient and to see to see forward movement with that big dream I know I touched on a lot of different areas, Pisces, but I hope that it was of help to you and insightful to you in some way. Please check your moon rising and Venus signs for additional insight into your situation. And uh, please be sure to like and comment. Let me know how this resonates with you. I'm really, really curious about that. And um, you know, have an absolutely beautiful Thanksgiving if you're here in the U.S. Have a beautiful week if you're not in the U.S. And I will see you soon.